our little sailboat will take you back in time to the age of sail when the crew spent much of their time sitting on the bow or the head. So today's job we're tackling is the bathroom. Today, bathrooms on boats, or heads for those in the know, are pretty common. But the truth is, the modern luxuries we now have would have been unimaginable on sailing vessels during the Age of Sail. Essentially, heads, or seats of ease as they were known during the Age of Sail, were simply holes cut into the deck planking with a seat built above it, without any privacy between them. Well, sometimes you have to make a mess before you make it really, really nice. To make matters worse, they were completely open to the outdoors at the very front of the ship, so while it was unpleasant to use these facilities, if you can call them that, it could also be incredibly dangerous, especially in high seas. But this treacherous location was by design. Placing the head at the bow or front of the ship ensured that the wind and ocean spray would take everything unpleasant away, including the smell. Even though we still have a little ways to go before this is like a really nice bathroom or comfortable, I'd still much rather this than what they had to deal with during the Age of Sail. While the crashing waves on the bow would clean the shared rag attached to a rope, also known as a tow rag, that the crew used to cleanse themselves with after going about their business. Sailors would pull up the line and use the wet rag, then sling it back over the side to be washed once more for the next lucky fellow. Now comes the dirty part. And while you may not be able to think of how this situation could get much worse, a lack of seats on which to ease oneself was a perpetual problem during the Age of Sail for ships of all sizes. On a man of war sized ship with some 800 crew, guess how many seats there would be? Max, six. Now, the heads we've described so far were really for the general crew on board a British naval ship. So, in truth, there were fancier facilities for those of higher rank. And this luxury largely came in the form of privacy. Officers' heads were in small, round cubicles called a roundhouse, which not only gave them privacy, but also kept out the wind, rain, and ocean spray. And a designated captain's lavatory at the stern of the ship in one of the quarter galleries. We're gonna try a little white paint on the floor just to spruce it up a little bit. Despite the ornate decorations of even the most luxurious of bathroom accommodations on board, these heads remained largely basic compared to what we have access to today. Not to mention, at this time, toilet paper hadn't even been invented yet, not until the late 19th century. So old newspaper or paper was the fancier of accoutrements to wipe oneself with during the age of sale. So as we've been sprucing up our dingy old head, we've also learned so much about heads, or seats of ease, during the age of sail. And I think we have so much to be thankful for with our modern toilet and running water. But I think after all that work, I need to be left alone. Thanks for watching. Want more in-depth content? Check out our website where you'll find more detailed blogs and information, as well as some other fun stuff. And if you want to support our pursuit of accessible history, like, subscribe, or check out our Patreon, or any combination of those options. And of course, don't forget to check out our other videos. You never know what you might find.